Hello, this is Diane with Diane's Blue Hearts and Butterflies and my stamp group for November wanted to work with snow, snowflakes and so we chose to do the Snowflake Splendor suite of products and use those for our class and um, one of the items is a uh, 3D item. I saw this for on uh, Dawn Griffith's site. She's a US demonstrator and so I wanted to share that with my class and it's using the uh, Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. There's so many very beautiful designs in that paper and it's also using the Balmy Blue Glimmer play paper and the Seaside Spray uh, ribbon but you could also use the Snowflake Splendor uh, ribbon as well, and you could even color that. I've um, learned from watching some other demonstrators. And so let's get to making this. You're going to start out with a 5 inch by 11 inch piece of designer series paper, and you're going to score that. And I find using my trimmer is so much easier than a scoreboard. Um, and I just love how it works. So you're going to score that at 3 inches and use the lighter colored scoring blade. And don't uh, score very deep because it can cut the designer series paper. And then move that down to 6.5 inches and again score that. We'll need the trimmer again in just a moment, but I wanted to go ahead and lightly just kind of crease those so I could see them. So this is the three and the six and a half. Now we're going to take this and we're going to actually cut this into one half inch strips. And you'll just do that all the way down and you should end up with 10 strips. Yesterday, yesterday when I was doing this with the class, I wasn't paying much attention and I accidentally didn't make sure that it was following the lines and I cut one crooked, but it still worked out fine. So you get the idea there. So you're going to end up with 10 of these strips. And so you lay them down and the side that you want to have facing out, you're going to want down, uh, facing down on your um, paper. And you're going to basically fold these back and forth into zigzags. And you'll do that with all of yours. You're, this one is also going to be using a lot of glue dots. And so the first glue dot, so this is the side that I want facing in, and this is the side I want facing out. So you're going to put a glue dot, <coughs> excuse me, at the top of this, oh, didn't go. the top of the side that you want facing in and then these other I folded it wrong of course so you're gonna take this first fold which is the three inch and you're going to bring that up to meet the end of this strip and then you're gonna open that up you're gonna want another glue dot right inside this fold to help hold it together and then fold it back and then you're going to loop this piece back around and this fold line at the six and a half inch mark you're going to want to put another glue dot up here on this cut end and you're going to want to line that fold up with that cut end and then again put another glue dot inside that folded score line, fold that back down, and then wrap this piece back around 
underneath and you're going to need another glue dot to adhere this cut end to this folded end. I'm going to do another one, but you're going to do this to all of the ten pieces. So you're going to start with the piece of paper, the side that you want facing in is going to be the part that you put the first glue dot. This is the little three inch piece. You're going to bring this folded p folded score line up to that cut. So the folded score line up to the cut end. Put a glue dot there, and then you're going to want a glue dot inside. I just found that it helps hold this into a teardrop shape and doesn't have one side sticking way out. Then you loop this back around, and you have this folded, which is the six and a half inch fold line, and you're going to put a glue dot on it, and you'll put that back up here and line this up with the teardrop edge, and again, open that score line, put another glue dot inside that so that you can push that down, wrap it back around. This end you're going to want to adhere with another glue dot, it takes four, that's what I counted yesterday, and put that back around here. So you're going to end up with, like I said, ten of these pieces. I'm going to set that off to the side and bring this, oops, because I've already done several ahead of time. Now it's a matter of just putting them together. dots came undone. Let me just fix that real quick here. So don't start this project unless you have a nice good roll of the glue dots uh, on hand because now you're going to be using the glue dots to actually put these together to each other and you're going to do that around all of these till you get a circle. I just love um, making ornaments for people to be able to use year round. Sometimes people will keep the cards and display them each year, but for sure the ornaments they can put on their tree every year to remember you. And so that's why I really fell in love with this when I saw Don share this. And then the final piece, you're actually going to want to put a glue dot on each side of it because it's going to adhere to both of these sides. And then you have kind of your little round um, snowflake. It's kind of what it. it Somebody looked at it and looked, called it a flower, but it is a snowflake to hang. And then I took the one inch circle punch, and you could use dies if that's what you have, and I cut out the one inch circles from the balmy glimmer paper. Now, Dawn used um, hot glue, and I didn't really want to use that in my class, so what I do have are some 3D uh, dots that I had found and these are really thick dots that um, and I used two I think it was to make it really kind of thick in there and then I put that over the center and just kind of pushed it in with my fingers so that it adheres to all of those little pieces, the teardrops, and then I 
turned it over and I did the same thing with the other one so that I would have this very pretty glimmery circle to be at the center of my ornament. And then I took a um, piece of ribbon. This one is about nine and a half inches long. And I just put it through one of the loops and brought the ends together. And then I just tied a simple knot in these to create my loop that they could hang it from the tree. And I just pulled that knot towards that end so there would be more room for it to hang on the tree. So this was the very pretty uh, loops kind of hanging ornament. Looks like a snowflake. So I wanted to share with my group and with everyone on my blog. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you will check out my blog at Diane's Blue Hearts and Butterflies dot com. And um, also you could come back and watch videos and make these for your friends. Thank you.